You want to steer clear from promoting yourself. You want to get people who already have an audience to promote you for you. So you only have to get one person interested in you, and that's the person who already has the audience. Now let's talk about number two, Kickstarters. Uh, affiliated with social media sharing, um, you'll want to have a great Kickstarter campaign that you can share in the ways I explained in number one. Um, but Kickstarters are a great way to promote your books because it generates interest and it also generates revenue, which is going to help you get your next books published or pay for a little bit more advertising through the next couple of things I'll talk about, which is personal marketing and mail marketing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and explain a little bit about how I created my Kickstarter campaign and the, um, the specific steps that I took to make sure my Kickstarter campaign was brilliant. All right, we're going to start off by taking a look at my original Kickstarter campaign when I first started to fund The Dangerous Voyage of Cup the Sailor. One of the things you're going to really want to do when creating your campaign is make a killer video. And I had to work very hard because I did this all by myself the first time, and I'm going to go ahead and show you a few clips from my original video to kind of give you an idea of what kind of content you want your Kickstarter video to have. The second most important thing is your pledge levels. I always try to have a pledge $1 or more or at least start at $5 because people who are uncertain whether or not they want to back your project are more likely to back for a little amount as opposed to a larger amount if they don't know you yet. So it's really good to have those lower level backers and you always want to make sure your perks are appropriate for the amount you're asking. For example, for $1, um, a backer would be able to read page one just to get a snippet. Um, again, you don't want to give your pledge um, backers that backer gift until after you are fully funded because with Kickstarter, if you don't reach your goal, which my goal was 2000 and in my first campaign I raised 2359 with 31 backers, but as soon as you're funded, they can have their first taste of page one. If they love it or if it captures their interest, they may end up buying your book afterward. My funding period back then was December 28th to February 1st, which lasted 34 days, and I did meet my goal using the um, promotional methods I mentioned in step one of this video. So we're going to come back up here, and I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of this video, and then I'm going to show you the next section, or excuse me, my next Kickstarter campaign, which is coming up. My name is Jenny Merrick. I want to publish a children's modern fantasy novel I wrote for my son about an adventurous boy who, despite being apprehensive about his abilities to accomplish big things, discovers he can do anything he sets his mind to, and discovers the true meaning of courage. Oh, did I mention that boy is a sailor? For the last eight years, I've ran two of my own blogs, guest blogged on other writers' websites, and also worked as a freelance writer and editor for my peers in the industry. This year, I've completed a manuscript that I'm determined to have published for my son. A manuscript that has taken on a life of its own and has become something greater than I ever could have predicted. I'd like to tell you a bit about my novel. Meet Gup. Gup is the 10-year-old son of a world-famous swashbuckling duo. Gup's mother and father are known across these wild oceans for capturing some of the greatest criminals to ever terrorize the high seas. But one fateful day, Gup's skills as a sailor are tested when he's kidnapped by one of the most notorious pirate gangs their world has ever known. To date, I finished writing my novel in its entirety, a total of 32 chapters and over 70,000 words, as well as started the outline to its sequel. I'm also self-editing the manuscript before selecting a professional editor to help me polish the finished product. And that's where you come in. As a backer, your pledge will go strictly to hiring a professional editor and some of the production costs of my novel. I've also developed multiple tiers for backers, each accompanied by its own unique perk. I grew up in a time when reading was still a popular childhood pastime, and I'm committed to contributing to the culture of storytelling because of it. My hope is that reading for pleasure doesn't become an extinct or archaic hobby just because the world has increasingly new and exciting technological alternatives. So I ask you to please be a backer for my novel and help me keep our children inspired with something that doesn't require a Wi-Fi to access. 
Thank you. All right, now here we are, and this is a sneak peek preview because this project is not even live yet, but here is my video for my second Kickstarter. And this one's going to be a little bit different than the first one. Um, I'm starting with the Cabin Boy Pledge of $5, which they will get um, Book Volume 2's Prologue PDF, an emailed thank you and acknowledgement on my Facebook page for $10, which is the Deck Hand Pledge. They can get the 2's Prologue and a handwritten thank you, an emailed thank you, acknowledge on my Facebook page. The Powder Monkey, which is $15, they get the handwritten thank you, of course. Volume 2 on Kindle, an email thank you, and acknowledgement on my Facebook page. For $20, they can get the paperback volume, signed, um, a na their name in the actual book's acknowledgements, the handwritten thank you, an email thank you, and acknowledgement on my page. For $50, which is my first mate pledge, backer pledge, they can get Volumes 1 and 2 signed with the all-new cover art and illustrations from my new illustrator, Holly Huffenberger. And they can also get um, their name in the acknowledgments, the handwritten and email thank yous, and of course, acknowledgement on my page. A captain pledge, which would be $100 more, they get a custom pirate brooch, the hardcover volumes of 1 and 2 both signed, and name in the book acknowledgments, handwritten thank you, email thank you, and acknowledgement on my Facebook page. And then I have a Commodore pledge, which is actually something I'm going to pitch to my local um, pirating community businesses, which they would receive a custom pirate hat, hardcover copies of volumes one and two, both signed, their name in the book acknowledgments, name on the website as an honored backer, linked, I will put links to their business or website on my author page, I will, or excuse me, on my author website and social media pages. Handwritten thank yous, emailed thank yous, acknowledgements, the whole nine yards. Also, they get to name a new character in Volume 3, which will be coming out in 2019. So that's a pretty big backer pledge, and I'm hoping to get at least one or two businesses to go for that. Because, again, the amount that I'm hoping to raise this time is, I think I set it for 200 but I might have done 2500 I don't remember now. It's not really listed. But, of course, then you also want to make sure that you have all of your information, like um, what what is this project about? What is it funding? Um, here I have a video of all of the readers who actually have selfies with copies of my book. And then of course you always want to explain your risks and challenges. So that's um, really important things to do. And now um, I'm going to go ahead and show you some clips of my second video I created. And um, that's basically the key points you need to keep in mind when creating a Kickstarter campaign. And again, you want to market your Kickstarter the same way you would market your novels, using those steps and suggestions I mentioned in part one of this video. Last year, you were invited to go on a journey with a boy sailor, barely 11 years old. This year, you're invited to do it all over again. Will Gup be able to survive the coming storm? There's only one way to find out. Become a backer of Gup the Sailor and the Devil to Pay today. All hands on deck. Hi, I'm Jenny M. Merrick, the author of The Dangerous Voyage of Gup the Sailor, and have just finished Gup the Sailor and the Devil to Pay. Here's what you need to know. Right now, the crew needs you. So will you sign on as a cabin boy, a deckhand, a powder monkey, or a navigator? Perhaps a captain or a commodore. These are the six pledge levels that you can choose to help Captain Gup take on Captain Keelhaw once again. So are you ready to climb aboard and join Captain Gup and his crew once again? Read up, me hearties. Yo-ho! So there you have it. That's a little bit about how I created my personal Kickstarter campaign, um, starting from my first one to my second one. And my second one is going to be um, open to the public this February for the entire month of February. It should be released February 1st all the way through the 28th. Um, but enough about that. Let's get on to number three. Personal... I too can command the wind, sir! I have a hurricane in me that will strip Spain bare if you dare to try me! 